Developing right now, the U.S. Department of Education has slapped Michigan State University with its largest fine ever for the school's handling of the Larry Nassar scandal. Let's bring in Mara McDonald live in East Lansing at this hour. Mara, four and a half million dollars, a ton of money. Exactly, Devin, and you know the money is a significant part of this, but if you actually read the 53-page letter that the feds sent this university explaining why this fine was happening, there are portions of it that will make you gasp. Let me show you. The rationale for that largest ever fine starts with a look at how the university handled a report of Nasser's abuse in 2014. They refer to Nasser as employee X. It's done by the Office of Civil Rights. Quote, OCR finds the university failed to take appropriate interim measures to protect its students commensurate with the gravity of Reporter 11's allegations, and then goes on to list all the ways the university fumbled investigating Nasser. I heard about it in my class today, actually, and um, people were, most of the students were concerned about um, it affecting, like, tuition rates, and especially because most of us in the class are last year. So um, I just hope that we don't have to take impact on a problem that wasn't like a student issue. The findings on the now former dean of the medical school are mind blowing. People complained about William Strample's inappropriate language and behavior toward women for 16 years. And neither former university president Luanna Simon or provost June Uat, who resigned just today, did anything to fix it. Back here live to put that fine into some sort of context for you. Penn State, with its Jerry Sandusky debacle, was only fined $2.4 million. MSU is getting fined 4.5. Devin, Kimberly, we're live on the campus of MSU tonight. Back to you. That's terrific context for what's happened here, Mara. The school's going to pay this money, but I think there clearly has to be, uh, to the eyes of many, a cultural change on the way it handles these complaints. Well, for sure, and the feds are making that a key element here. MSU has to absolutely overhaul how it responds to Title IX complaints. Those are discrimination complaints. And the feds have laid out key steps that have to be taken here so that this never happens again. Back right. to you. All right, Mara.